Today so okay. we had a pineapple <laughs> in, in our quest to make tiki drinks. <laughs> Not for the weak of stomach. Stay tuned if you are. Oh. Not the weak of stomach. Oh. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Shaw. We go with me, Ian Andrews. And if you can't tell, we're doing some tiki shit. Tiki tiki. So we're making the Boo Lou from 1965. That's right. Uh, oh. Not the caribou loo, but the boo loo. Yeah, because this is a good drink. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but there's pineapple in it. Oh. There is true. And there's 151 also. Oh. I wonder if Tech Nine was paying attention. Anyway, anyway. Anthony Antweiler, and and Weiler. I don't know why I added the sound, but that's not your name. Is uh, the producer for this episode. You can always help us at Patreon.com/cmc. Now, this is a cool one. So cut I'm the head. Knife. And we're gonna cut off the head. Don't slice your finger again. I don't need any more blood and all that. that comes right off. More than you already got on do, your finger. Do you want more than that? No, 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 no. I need that. That's a good one. So, this drink is made in a. It's going to be a pineapple. There's a lot of weird shit going on. Oh. Yeah. It's going to be. A pineapple is going to be your glass. Now, the trick here is whether we can core it without hitting too much of the edge and creating a leak. So, what you typically would do. And I say typically like everybody's making pineapple glasses, but you want to leave some. I usually go as deep as I can because... <laughs> it's good when you have the option. Uh. <laughs> but sometimes it's just too small, so you can't. No, sometimes it's too big. You can't go well, as deep yeah. as you want. For where you're going, it's too small. Oh, yeah, okay, I gotcha. You might have a leak in here. We'll find out. So, do we have a leak? We're probably gonna have a little bit of a leak. This is this is gonna be juiced. The ingredients are uh, two and a half ounces of unsweetened pineapple juice, one and a half ounces of fresh lime juice, one point two five ounces of a honey mix, which is just one part honey, one part water. You do that so that the honey is easier to work with. 0.75 ounces of dark Jamaican rum, 0.75 ounces of lemon heart, one and a half ounces of demerara rum, one and a half ounces of cold Puerto Rican rum, and one and a half ounces of club soda. We're gonna put it all in the blender, liquefy it, even though it's mostly liquid already, and then it's going into that thing as a glass on top of some crushed ice. Yeah, at least that's the theory. That's the theory. Uh, yeah, unless Derek cut the glass. Yeah, that, that's the problem, is you can't see inside of the pineapple while you're slicing it. We got, for our demerara rum, we got some El Dorado. You just have to drink it real fast. Done. Challenge accepted. Yeah, there's a, there's a slight leak, but if we drink it fast enough, we should be fine. We're not doing it. Yeah. Alright, so we got... This is, this this is, is our... all about drinking as fast as you can. And I don't have Myers's, and I didn't think I was going to need it, because I don't typically like it. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, that's that's the, the truth of it, is I'm not a huge fan of Myers rum, so... I, it's just so strong. I know people are big fans, but it's just too strong. I'll give another one over here. It's a messy drink. It's a lot of work in this thing. I'm, I'm guessing this is best batched. Well, I mean, you can batch it pretty well. You, you probably would forego the pineapple craze, but besides it was around 1965, and Jeff Berry, you can find this in the remix book, uh, said it was one of his first memorable exotic drinks that he found, and it's, it's up there on the exoticness. For Hamilton, you could try Hamilton 151, but it just seems a little different. bit more great, aggressive. I don't know how it's going to be in this drink since it's so juice-centered. Uh, well, I guess it's not really juice center. There's a lot of freaking alcohol in here. Most of these drinks don't have tiki mugs because it was still kind of growing in, in pop culture. And it was more like collecting as many random artifacts you can get, be it, you know, uh, Trader Vic would have like uh, lobster car or lobster traps and anything you can get to hang on his wall. Just the juices. Then you add the alcohol. Then you, did you put club soda in here? Shit. Right, good. You weren't supposed to put it in here. Oh, good. Yeah. Supposed to put it in there. Add club soda. So I can't see the whole recipe because it's, it's so, so much so stuff. Long. That's tiki as shit. Mm -hmm. Give it a try. Like pineapples. Oh. Oh, that's tiki. It tastes tiki. You know what it tastes like? It's the brown sugar, the brown, the rum. It's rum. very rummy. It's it's not as tiki and aggressive. Not anymore, it doesn't. No. 
It is warmer. Are oh, you right? Oh, you need the water. Yeah. Oh wow. If you don't add that water in there, you get any more ice. It's a different drink. That's a, it is a totally different drink. It's like a shooter. Uh, the rum flavors all combine together, but they keep it tiki. The demerara flavor comes out like that brown sugar. There's a little slight aggressiveness. You cutting yourself again? No, I was looking for an umbrella. Oh. There's no, oh, and they're all missing. The balance is definitely forward on alcohol. And the only way that is, it's kind of brought back is when you add that little bubbly water in there, all the, the pineapple sweetness comes out. Uh, but without that, there's there's just a lot of dark rum flavor. It's like the jungle now. Yeah, that's how we roll. That's it, my friends. We'll see you tomorrow for another Tiki Drink. We're teaching you how to drink. It very much has the flavor of the classic daiquiri. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's lime, simple syrup, and, uh, and rum. Really, just with the addition of the banana and crushed ice. It's... I don't think you could go wrong by adding more banana to it, but I don't know if it really... I don't think...